p.m. All right, well, welcome everyone Coffee, in uh, present and on Zoom to the um, 2022 pre-town meeting for the town of Rochester, which has been um, advertised um, on public boards, correct, and on the website, and emailed to interested parties. So we can go ahead and, and legally um, open up this um, Let's start right into the pre-town meeting, and we're basically going to go through the agenda of what we will cover next week on our um, March 28th town meeting, which we pushed ahead um, a month so we could do it in person, like the old days. And um, we will, um, the first step is going to be to elect a moderator for the ensuing year. Now, I... Dan is not going to make it for the town meeting, and I believe Ethan Bowen is going to step in just for that meeting, but um, do I understand that we would still be electing or, or nominating Dan to continue on for the... Don't know about that. Do you know about that, Ethan? I don't. I wasn't even sure if I was supposed to be here tonight, so... Well, we're glad to hear you. Mm. Yeah. I guess we will... Um, We'll check on I would that. assume. I, hmm. I, I, I would. I would. Yes. I would think so. But that's that's um that's why we're having this pre-town meeting is to ferret out these questions and see um what more prep we can do before the town meeting. So. Um, and Article Two, I'll just run down quickly that uh, we will be electing a select board member for another three-year term. And, um, you know, I'm open to other people, you know, arguing and vying for my post, but if they don't, I'll do it again. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to elect a town clerk for a, a three-year term, and I'm hoping, thinking that Julie will do that again. And we're going to elect a town treasurer for another three-year term. Um, we're looking to elect a lister for a three-year term, and I believe um, Carolyn Mayer is interested in that. We're looking to elect a collector of delinquent taxes for a one-year term, and that is currently held by Becky Klein, and I think that she is still willing to, to hold that position. Um, we're going to elect a library trustee for a five-year term, and I believe Barb Shunton is, is willing to be nominated for that. And we're also going to elect a library trustee for the remaining one year balance of um, an empty term that Doreen Jones has, um, is filling now. And she is, I believe, would be willing to fulfill that last year of the five year term. And we're also going to elect a trustee of public funds for a three year term. And I believe Sandy Pierce is willing to take that on and to elect a cemetery commissioner for a five-year term. And uh, Michelle Schnabel has got her name in the running for that. Um, and of course, um, anyone else that wants to run is welcome to, but as uh, with many of these posts, we're thankful to have people stepping up that are willing to do it. Martha has a question. Martha. Quick question uh, for the library trustee for the remaining one year. Who's the candidate for that? I wasn't, I couldn't write fast enough. Oh, I got sorry. everybody else. Um, that's Doreen Jones. Doreen Jones. Okay, thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Yeah. She's the incumbent. Hmm? She's, the, but she's incumbent. the incumbent. She is the incumbent. Yeah. Okay, so if she's the incumbent, then. Well, she is, why? was appointed to. Fill oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, all yeah. right, thank you. Yeah. And um, we're going to ask the voters to authorize the treasurer to collect current taxes pursuant to 32 VSA 491. And Article 4 is um, we're going to ask the voters to authorize payment of real taxes in four installments, due dates being Monday, August 15th, 2022, Monday, November 15th, 2022. Wednesday, February 15th, 2023, and Monday, May 15th, 2023, by physical delivery to the tax collector before 4 p.m. 
on those dates with postmarks not accepted as proof of delivery. And the Article 5, which has um, caused a little bit of confusion um, um, this time around, is that we, um, following the, since last year we did the Australian ballot for town meeting, it, in, it caused us to reformat the way that we voted for the articles and in following yeah. that we mistakenly um, the the amount that you see listed in article 5 is going to be amended at the meeting because if we passed it as it is that means that we would have paid for the um, um, what's the articles the articles we would have paid for the articles twice because there's the the number that is printed um, the warning is including all the articles, whereas actually we're going to vote for the budget first and add the articles to them later. Give the, give the numbers. All right. So the um, so that said, the um, general fund expenditures will be one thousand. Wait, no. Okay. This is. One two nine. Okay, oh, the written. Oh, I thought the written ones are. Oh, you read. Okay, so it'll be one million two hundred ninety-five dollars, one million two hundred ninety-five thousand four hundred sixty dollars, and not the one million three hundred ninety-seven four hundred sixty that was originally um, put out there, and eight hundred sixty-four thousand eight oh seven will be raised by taxes. Does anybody got any questions about that? Did I make it confusing enough? You're getting lots of head nods and thumbs okay. up. Okay, all right. Sorry for that confusion, but it keeps us on our toes, you know. Yeah. Um, so, um, Article 6 is asking if the voters will exempt the real property in Rochester Village owned by Rochester Community Healthcare Incorporated doing business as the Park House, a nonprofit tax exempt organization providing services and housing for low income and other elderly persons property taxes for five years. That would be fiscal year 23 through 27. And that's pursuant to 32 VSA 3840. Uh, Article 7, let me know if there's any questions out there in Zoom land. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, shall the voters appropriate $48,314 towards operating expenses of the Rochester Public Library? Okay. And Article 9 is the question. Eight. Oh. Eight. Eight. That's trash. Hmm? Eight. Eight. I'm missing it. Um, you seven. don't have it. I don't have it on mine. Here we go. <laughs> I'm just going. All right. Yes. Thank you. Um, <laughs> this is on your sheet. Shall the voters appropriate $20,400 to continue funding the fast trash and recycling program from July? 1 2022 through June 30th, 2023. And um, now, back on, I think this is no, the second. No, yeah. Okay. Yeah, All right. Good. And now, Article 9, once again, shall the voters authorize the select board to borrow an amount not to exceed $105,080 for the purchase of a Western Star tandem truck for the highway department? And if we're lucky, we'll get it. This year, you um, might want to tell everybody that that's already included in that 800. Yes, you have, 64. Yeah, yeah, you speak up, Frank. You can do that. Oh, okay. Uh, that figure 105080 is already included in the 864 figure in Article 5. Those not in addition no, to not it. in addition to it. So. That no. because that's no, because no. we're borrowing no, that money. It isn't. No, it isn't. You just took it out. The trucks. Are no, we didn't. Money. We didn't take the trucks out. We just took the 101 out. Because the trucks are. That's actually we're borrowing that money. It's not in a. Um, we're. We borrowed the money to to fund the trucks. We're paying payments on them for five years. It's a five-year note on the two trucks. But they're already included in that 864-807 figure. Right, that full amount is not in the budget for this on, year. Uh, it's them, just, if you look on, on the... which page of the budget. What, what, what page is that? I think Pat has something to say. Yeah. All right. Go for it, Pat. Go ahead, Pat. Hmm. 
the part that the part the part of the truck that's being financed for this year the up year is included in the budget that the out of out of the loan the the annual portion of the five or seven year loan right. is in the budget. Right. Right. Right, not the total amount. Show not which, the total amount. Which page? So could you repeat that? No. All right. So um, we're asking the, <clears throat> the voters to authorize the select board to borrow an amount not to exceed $105,080 for the purchase of a Western Star tandem truck for the highway department. So included in the budget will be the amount that for the yearly finance charge of that, not the whole $105,080. On page 28. And that page can be found on page 28. Purchase under funds. capital purchases got it yep, everybody so okay. it's basically it's the same um, same drill for article 10 um, asking the voters to authorize the select board to borrow an amount not to exceed sixty five thousand one hundred sixty five dollars for the purchase of a Ford f550 four by four crew cab truck for the fire department same deal we're not making the whole purchase this year but the um, just had budgeted for the yearly um, finance charge and principal, which is also on page 28. Yep. Okay. Um, on to article 11. Oh, I feel oh. Ethan may have a question. Sorry, I just Ethan. noticed your hand. Ethan. Sorry, Ethan. If I can, um, I, just just because this is in the past, I remember this has come up. Are, are we getting any discount from a sale of the existing vehicles? And does that get figured yeah, into that, the budget? Yep, that's been, yeah, the trade-in value has been figured in into that. Already? Yep. Okay. Yeah. For both for both vehicles? Yeah. 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 There was 45000 Sorry, and I didn't read the report yet. So is that probably in the report, the town? No. I don't no. think those are in there, but they were, you're getting a forty-five thousand dollar trading on the tandem and and ten thousand, we guess, in, on the fire truck. Okay. You know, it's um, it's a yeah guesstimate. So yeah. then we have to wait so. a year and a half. Oh. Okay. Good. All right. Thank yep. you. Yep. Thank you. No problem. Oh, thank you. Three um, months. Well, and also thank you for stepping up to fill in for Dan because you'll be the one answering you're welcome. these questions. Yeah. I, I, I can promise a, a bumpy ride. <laughs> yeah. So can we. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Article 11, uh, shall the voters approve $9,000 to continue funding the town buildings and property reserve fund? And Article 12 is asking whether the voters will appropriate $1,000 to continue funding the tennis reserve fund for ongoing and future court maintenance. And article 13 is shall the voters vote to approve the following sums as requested by these community agencies. We have Central Vermont Community um, Council on Aging for $3,000, the Clara Martin Center for $2,066, Green Up Vermont for $100, Orange County Parent Child Center for $250, Quintown Senior Center for $9,849, Safeline Incorporated for $250, Tri Valley Transport, which was formerly Stagecoach, for $1,300, uh, Vermont Rural Fire Hydrant for $100 and VNH, the Visiting Nurse Association, for $4,800, White River Partnership for $875, and Woman Safe for $250, for a total of $22,840 for um, um, requested funds by these community agencies. And did you say there was a question? Ethan has a question. Yep, Ethan. I'm just full of them tonight. Um, uh, just, I just realized I, I did notice a um, an article for the White River Valley Ambulance. Is that no longer something um, we do in the No, fund? what we did is we moved that into the general fund <coughs> and out of the articles. Gotcha. We, um, okay. yeah, yeah, because we just, you know, figured that is um, essential. Yes. 
Yeah. Thank you. And that's also what Thank all you. the other towns do. Yeah, and that's also um, what um, all the other towns are, do. So, yeah. And if anyone was looking for the in increase on that, would that be in their page? Page 30, Ethan. Thank you. Yep. I'm giving you practice, too. Yeah. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Good. So, um, any other legal and proper business could be brought before said meeting after we've conducted all these other issues. Martha? She's, I muted her and she doesn't know. You need to unmute Martha. Ooh. Um, this doesn't have to do, is it okay to just ask something that doesn't have to do with town meeting, but something that would have to do with the select board or because it, the agenda says originally that the regular select board meeting as well as this. Quick question. Quick question. Sure, sure. Okay. okay. Um, well, the last two years, the only reason is I have to get started early on this. If I do that, I think it's early April that I have to get a permit from the state. The last two years, we haven't had this, you haven't wanted me to do the 4th of July parade because of the pandemic. And I'm wondering if you, if the select board would think about letting me know maybe at the next meeting on the 11th of April, although I, it would be nice to know earlier if possible, um, if you think it's okay for me to go ahead and try to organize the 4th of July parade this year. I, I don't know what you think. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'll, you know, obviously well, I'll do whatever you ask. Um, I haven't thought about that yet. Well, the only reason I ask early like this is because in the past I've had to get a permit from the state to close down Route 100 for like 45 minutes, right, you know. Right. And um, so, and they wanted me. I used to have to apply for it in early April, if I recall correctly. So. Are they going to be? Of course, it's been two years, so I had to go through the. I have to go through my box of stuff and make sure I know the date correctly. But I'm pretty sure it's really. April. There, so anyway, if you guys could think about it, and maybe we could just discuss it really quickly at the next meeting or something. Yeah, I guess it's good you brought it up. What you're, what you're thinking, Frank? Well, the well, I, I had several people complain to me uh, last year that we didn't have it, and I, I thought, you know, I agreed with you. We didn't need to have it last year because of the pandemic, but maybe things are better this year. I don't know. It seems like they're they are a lot of places are getting rid of their mask mandates and stuff. So, I don't know. I'd like to have it if we can, but if you don't think we should, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know pester you about it. The uh, talking with the state paving guys, they're hope hopefully they're going to get to doing the village sometime oh. after June first. Ah, that so okay. so they're going to be tearing up the village sometime during the month of June, and possibly that would affect July fourth. So there okay. may be a so, little issue um, with that, Pat, but other Pat than that, too. it shouldn't bother. But it, it may be a little issue with that. Yeah, okay, that's something to think about. Yeah, you're right. And definitely, a Main Street definitely needs some fixing. So <laughs> it's pretty bumpy. Right. Okay, I just wanted to bring it up and um, uh, uh, to, to make sure because, you know, I felt guilty that um, I hadn't done it last year. But, I, you know, you guys were right. There, there was just too much of the pandemic around. And I just yep. wanted to make sure yep. I could do it. You know, it's a lot of work, so I got to get started on yep. it. <laughs> if, I, if I am going to do it. But, but you know what? I think people will be happier to have the road smooth than, than, than be mad parade. about a parade. <laughs> yeah, right. But <laughs> so we shall see. Pat, Pat All right, thank you. Sorry to, yes, sorry Pat to Pat have something. Yep. Go ahead, Pat. She might be frozen. It's cutting out. Yeah, I can, we can hear you. You're yes, just I'm back, I think. Um, is it okay with, at the, is it okay with Mark? Yep. What? Is it okay with Martha if we wait until our next meeting, April 11th, where we can put it on the agenda? Yeah, I think so. I think it'd be fine. I, I have to go through um, that's, my yeah. paperwork from April the, 11th, um, is that okay? That's what yeah, she Yeah, I think asking. so. I, yeah. I have to go through my paperwork to make absolutely sure. I'll let you know if for some reason, or let Julie know if for some reason I have to know beforehand, but I don't think so. I think it'll be okay, Pat. Okay. So, um, Martha, I have a. Um, Something I want to bring up. Okay. Just, just a. Um... And we'll... Okay, you done, Pat? Yeah, she's uh, just a little behind. A little behind. All yeah. right. Um, so Martha, I noticed in the um, in the Herald on the March seventeenth um, edition that um, 
you would um, put out there that the town's proposed budget would be up 27.5% from last year's budget. And I think that was, um, I'm not sure where you got that number, but I wanted to make clear that the actual increase in the budget is 2.3%, not 27.5%. Um, uh, okay, well, when, when we... And okay. That, that includes the appropriations and everything. So 2.3%. Yes. That's if, if all the appropriations are passed and articles, and articles are passed. If all articles and appropriations. Yes. Thank you. I, you know what? It's. I'm sorry. I. I obviously put it. Put a, a period where I shouldn't have. Yeah. Uh, right. I, I'll make sure I. I'm, I'll make sure I uh, make a correction in this article. Yeah. There's so a the couple, actually. A couple people were a little uh, alarmed by that. <laughs> okay, so the actual increase is 2.3% if all articles and uh, if all articles um, uh, pass. And, and appropriations. And appropriations. Yep. And appropriations pass. All okay, in. thank you. Yep. Thank you. Um, Ethan okay. had a question Sorry, that okay. up before. All right, Not Ethan. May I speak to that? Um, um, Ethan's got a question. John Allen is looking to speak to Martha's article, so you guys. Okay. Can, um, can I just it's just a logistics because I'd like to get off if I can. Um, is is sound um, all set up and lights for the meeting next week as traditionally done? And um, will there be mics for people to speak into, or are we worrying about that? We we have. Mics. Um, that's just traditional. But it's been a while, so I just don't know if anybody's thought about that. Um, Usually, Robert Mayer sets up uh, some sound for us. Um, yeah, well, um, but, uh, Robert Mayer's um, on the uh, mics. We just need somebody. We're just looking for somebody to run the mics back and forth. So it sounds you like grab a small kid. Yeah, sounds like the same, same. I mean, right. this doesn't look like a this doesn't look like a long meeting, unless something big surprise happens. You never know. Um, yeah. So I think a kid a kid could do it and still get to bed at eight o'clock. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But the mics are very handy for they people are. hearing. They are. No. All right. Um, Good, thanks, Ethan. All right. Yep. I'll trust that you have that all ready. Okay. Thanks for reminding Thank us. Thank you. Yep. And John. Good. Thank you. Have a good night. Yep. You too. All right, John. Uh, hi. Um, so I had quite a bit of back and forth email with um, Julie uh, last week. And I came up with the same figure that Martha did. And I think it's because the identical articles from last year and this year's proposed meeting, last year's meeting did not include all the appropriations of the following articles. And this year's did. So that's where the 27% yeah. increase yeah. goes up. Yeah. So um, she, oh, Martha was not wrong. <laughs> John wasn't in at the beginning of our meeting, oh, okay. so he missed he didn't where get you that. explained that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm coming in late. No, that's sorry. all right. Yeah. yeah. We did discuss that. Okay. No, nope, and thanks for um, um, alerting us to that early on. Yeah. Yeah. We much appreciate it. Yeah. <clears throat> Now, thank you guys for everything you do and looking out for the town. I, Meg and I appreciate it, all your efforts. Yeah, we look forward to working more with you, too. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> he did not miss that. <laughs> we, we're glad you're listening. <laughs> no, nothing big. No, no nothing no. big. All right, but thank you. Um, does anyone else out there in... Um, Computer land, have any um, questions or comments? I don't see any. Can I just say one more? Yep. Just uh, one more thing. I, I want to thank Julie too for um, doing the figuring on the uh, the two truck loans and what that came in. I, I'm sorry if you discussed that already too, but we did. Um, but that's all right. That, it, she, that she broke down what the uh, what it would be per taxpayer. That's awesome. All right. Um, well, that's um, that's what we're going to talk about next week, and um, hopefully with more people 
what we're going to vote on next week. That's what we're going to vote on next week, right. right. And um, I'd just like to also thank, uh, once again, everybody on the Budget and Finance Committee for the, um, the hours they budgeted to work on this. So it's not a, a small task. And so everybody works really hard to, to make it all fit in a reasonable, reasonable manner. So. All right. So I guess I will um, close this pre-town meeting. And in terms of a, um, since we're joined here as a select board and having a meeting, is there um, anything that anybody needs to talk about, needs to, to work on? I don't think that we had anything on the agenda. Technically, we could address that. No. We can't. Because it's not, it's not worn. OK. Yep. Um, All right. Joan, did you have anything? Or? We were going to approve the meeting minutes from March 14th. Ah, okay. That's right. I don't, I don't know if we, I haven't had a chance to see those, so I don't know if we can do that. We could table that till the um, the um, the eleventh. Um, and Julie, we're talking about having a um, a special select board meeting later on this week to address um, the Thank liquor you. license and yep. paying some bills. Yep. So we could um, do the minutes then too. Yep. yep. All right. And when is that meeting going to be scheduled? Whatever's best for you, Bobby. Works best for you. Let's, I can meet anything. I um, can't go Wednesday, but I can go any other day. Probably, um, I guess Thursday morning. Can do early. Yeah. Eight. Eight. Yeah. Does that work for you, um, Pat? Pat, are you able to do Thursday morning at eight? I'm not. I feel like you're speaking, but we can't hear you. Uh, <laughs> yes. This, this, this Thursday, yes. This Thursday, the 24th at 8 a.m. Um, could, um, Julie, could you, you send me a link to that so I could attend via Zoom, please? Sure. To that one? So I could write about it? is good with that yes All right. good okay okay um i also um. wanted to say something too if you don't mind um jeanette bear had reached out to me directly on chat um and asked if there was a zoom link for the town meeting and i let her know that there wasn't and she questioned why and i told her that we don't have the equipment that we need um, down at the school to make it run smoothly um she commented that there would be more people um, there if we did offer that. So I just wanted to pass that yeah. along. Yeah. And, and she's that. actually left the meeting now, but yeah. I just wanted you to know that. Nope, that's part of why we postponed the meeting a month. Right. Because it was not looking very smooth to, to have a hybrid Zoom. And also then with the, the voting, it doesn't, doing a hybrid of, um, Australian ballot and in-person meeting is not going to happen. Right. Yeah. Okay. You can still do an absentee ballot, didn't they? No, they don't have that. It's just showing up at the meeting. Yeah. Just a floor yep. vote. That's all about. Yeah. Yep. Floor vote. Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. Gotta be there. Just all to right. Be there to vote. All right. So, um, and there you have it. Okay. Everybody in Zoom looks good. Okay. Thank you all. All right. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Good, good evening. Good evening. I guess I can to adjourn. Yep. All in favor? All right. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. All right.